what's going on guys welcome back to the channel as you guys probably noticed right away we're back in the dslr i didn't really like the quality of the video and the gopro and also there were some audio issues that i ran into when i was editing it so we're gonna have to stick with this camera for the time being hopefully i can get you guys some wide lens a little bit later on but for now just bear with me all right so i'm continuing episodes man that dog just keeps barking um <laughs> i'm continuing the last week's episode where i'm mounting the headlight now I do have it pretty much angled, I did have to cut a little bit more, so cut this part a lot more and I did the same thing for the other side right here. Now it is pretty low, it's about 15, inch off, 15 inches off the ground, so that will be my marker right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and weld it, um, we're going to do some aluminum welding. So yeah, uh, hopefully I can tack it in place, take out the headlight and not melt anything in the process. All right, in case you guys are wondering why I kept the light on, I was checking to make sure that I didn't shift when I was welding it. So, so far, looks pretty good. Uh, it's flickering because I actually don't have a battery or I don't have any charge on my battery. So, I also bought a spare light because I was kind of anticipating burning it out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take that projector off and then I'm gonna put it on the driver's side. Um, and eventually my other one right there is gonna be going in there. So, I won't have a projector that will get heated. The one that will get heated will be kind of like my spare. Alright, so I have the bumper back on. That looks actually pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and mount the bumper or the cover and then actually cut out the holes. Alright guys, so we got that installed. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go and figure out which wire is the headlight. You know what it kind of reminds me of? You know the Daytona, what is that, 675? That kind of reminds me of that, I don't know why. Fitment wise, it's not too bad. I mean, it's gonna be blacked out anyway in the front. Um, keep in mind guys, the bumper is temporary, that's why I'm just cutting it all up. What I'm gonna do, eventually, is actually make a custom bumper that, you know, fits the front a little bit better. And at that point, that's where I'm gonna incorporate all the little vents that I want, or all the holes that I want, and that will be more permanent. Alright guys, so as far as wiring is concerned, I grabbed the, the headlight wiring harness here. I temporarily just put this on there. I didn't even actually solder or anything. Uh, main reason for that is I'm not sure what exactly I'm keeping. So I know for sure I'm going to keep the headlight. For the fog lights, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or I'm just going to go wire it through a high beam. Or do I want a high beam later and a fog light and turn signals? I don't really know yet. So for now, I'm just going to tap in there and connect everything. So let's check it out. Well, that looks pretty good. Um, but they're headlights, so the real question is, is it going to be bright enough? Let's go turn this off. Alright, so this is how it looks now. It looks pretty bright, actually. So that's pretty good for two little projectors. Um, they are pretty low on the ground again, so they're 15 inches off the ground. So when I try to line it up over here, I could only really raise it up to 15 inches which makes it look dim. The main reason for that is I also don't want to blind the people in front of me. So try to keep it somewhat level like this. Hopefully it'll give me enough um, light when I'm driving. But we'll see when I get a chance to actually take it out and you know do a measurement at 25 feet or whatever else. We'll figure it out then. But for now I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So it looks pretty nice. Um, I think I definitely now need to add a uh, turn signals. I mean I have that as a turn signal but I think I need something here right in next to the turbo and it just looks really weird like that. It's really low that's all. Alright so if you guys want to see how bright it is when it's actually pointed at your face check this out. That's how bright my face gets. <laughs> so it's definitely not dim. Alright guys so that is it for today's episode. I'm gonna continue with a little bit more work. I've gotta clean up in the garage. It's kinda starting to look like a mess in here. Um, but the headlight is good. 
which means we can go for a drive a little bit later kind of have everything blocked right now so i can't do that um i think probably next episode we're going to be working on the cat back exhaust just because i want to be able to start it you know that uh, late at night where i don't bug the neighbors and wake them up and do a lot of good stuff i just realized the mic was pointing the wrong way and the light was off so um anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time